Hi, fourth grade. This is Mrs. Asherall, and today I am working with you on module one, lesson eight. And our objective is to round multi digit numbers to any place using the vertical number line. And I know that vertical is like a column or a pillar, so that's up and down. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our problem set today. Complete each statement by rounding the number to the given place value. Use the number line to show your work. So, number 1A says 53,000 rounded to the nearest 10,000. I know that five is in my 10,000s place. So what does five represent? It's five 10,000s or 50,000. What's one more 10,000? Let's put it at the top end point. That's gonna be six 10,000s or 60,000. When I'm thinking about this number, between 50 and 60 is gonna be the midpoint. That's 55,000. I know 53 is between 50 and 55, so I'm gonna put it down here below the midpoint, and I know it's closest to 50,000. There you go. All right, so there's number 1A finished for you. Continue on these problems in the same manner. I noticed that on number three, it also is the same process. It's looking at the number 975,462 and you're gonna be rounding, either it's gonna be closest to the 900,000 or what's one more 100,000? A million. Make sure you use your number line just the same and label those parts. All right, number four. This number was rounded to the nearest 10,000. List the possible digits that could go in the thousands place to make the statement correct. Use a number line to show your work. All right, we're looking at that digit of the thousands to decide what's gonna happen with the 10,000s. Well, let's set up our number line so that it shows. It's gonna be rounded to 130,000. So let's put 130,000 here at the bottom and think about what's one more 10,000. It's 140,000. I'm gonna put that at the top of my number line and we're gonna decide Hmm, halfway through our midpoint is 135,000. So five and above, we give it a shove. Four and below, we're gonna let it go. We're looking at those digits, four and below. So if I had 130,644, well, then that would be the digit that would keep it closest to 130. Let's continue on. 131,000 would do the same thing. 132,000 would keep us closest to 130. I'm running out of room. I'm gonna go on the left side. 133,000 would keep us rounded below, and also 134,000 would round down. All right, there's all my digits that would now round down to 130,000. So these all could make the statement out of the room. Okay, correct. And there we go. All right, and I finally wanted to look at the bottom one. Number five says estimate the difference by rounding each number to the given place value. We're looking at a subtraction sentence here. So we have to round those those numbers for part A to the nearest 10,000s. So we're gonna say, is that one gonna stay the same or is it gonna move up and become a bigger 10,000? So 712,000 is gonna be rounded to 710,000s. We're just estimating, so I'm just gonna write out my place value there. We are subtracting 340,000 because the two does not bump up the 10,000s, it, it lets it go. We're gonna stay the same. We're talking about thousands again. So let's do the subtraction. Zero minus zero is zero. One 10,000 minus four 10,000s can't do it. I have to borrow from the 100,000s. I now give, uh, break that down. I have 11 10,000s minus four 10,000s. 
that's seven. And 600 thousandths minus 300 thousandths is 300 thousandths. We're still talking about thousands here. And I've estimated 370 thousandths. All right, guys, I hope that this, is, this has been helpful for you today. I'm hoping that you're having a great week and see you next time.